Welcome you here to the campus of MSU Billings. Petro Theater is the venue tonight as we present the only televised debate of the Montana U.S. Senate campaign here in 2014. In 60 minutes, both candidates fielded questions from ISIS to Montana timber production and everything in between. Congressman Steve Daines and Democratic nominee Amanda Curtis traded barbs respectfully. Now the two agreed on very little in tonight's debate and it became clear at the question of the Affordable Care Act. I know that the ACA is not perfect. I've traveled over 8,000 miles across the state listening to Montanans who are experiencing problems with delay of care and the cost of their insurance. So I am just saying that I am willing to work with both sides of the aisle to fix these issues and make this bill work better for everyone. I will stand with the people of Montana. I'm not gonna stand with President Obama. As I've traveled around the state, I've been to every one of Montana's 56 counties. Montanans overall don't like Obamacare. They want it repealed. And so we do not want to see a Washington, D.C.-led solution. D.C.-led solutions don't solve the problems. They create more problems. The topic of abortion also came up, showing another stark contrast to both candidates. I think it's very, very important that we stand to ensure that the women across this country have full access to contraception. We also need to make sure that we stand up and respect the First Amendment, which is that there's an issue of freedom of religion there as well. That's why it's so important, though, that we stand for women and ensure that they have access to contraception. So I would just step in here and say that what Congressman Daines has just said in mentioning the First Amendment is he's reminding all of us that he supports the Hobby Lobby decision that says a corporation can make my health care decisions for me. And as a woman senator, I absolutely disagree with that. Following that, the question of coal, energy, and the Keystone Pipeline versus environmental concerns were addressed. Congressman Daines spent much of his time in the private sector building up jobs in China. He spent much of his time in Congress incentivizing corporations who ship their profits and our jobs to China. And so it's no surprise that he would fight so hard to ship our oil and our refining jobs to China. I'm a bit confused on my opponent's position. Uh, she came out against the Keystone Pipeline originally. Now she says she supports it if the product's refined here. There is a law that's 39 years old that prohibits the export of crude. All the Keystone oil is going to get refined here in the United States. And there you have it. The Danes Curtis showdown continues when the two meet in Sydney Tuesday night for a public forum. After that, the only time you'll see them together is when you open your ballot to make your choice for Senate. In Billings, I'm Dustin Kleeman, MTN News.